the town. You know, we always love it when there's a Nashville contestant on the hit reality show Survivor. Last season, we were all rooting for Whitney Duncan. She's a country singer who auditioned for Survivor looking for an adventure, but she ended up finding much more than that. Whitney may not have won the million dollars, but she did win the heart of one of her fellow tribe mates, Keith Tollefson. And we are delighted to have Whitney and Keith here on Talk of the Town today. Happy Valentine's Day to you guys. Yeah, thanks for having us. Okay, so you got to tell us a story. You met first, actually, in casting, right? Mm -hmm. And this is, what, couple, almost a year ago? Almost a year ago, yeah. yeah. We, you know, we weren't allowed to speak, obviously, in casting, and um, so I had, you know, you just look at each other and you try to figure things out, but... But yeah, we, um... You're not allowed to speak, but I definitely thought she was stunningly beautiful, so I was eyeing her for quite a while. <laughs> no doubt. I mean, was exactly. there an instant connection then, do you think? Uh, definitely a connection, yes, mm -hmm. but she can't talk, so you're yeah. trying to, you're kind of figuring each other out. You know, I, I thought she was from San Diego, because she had a, a, a junior sale backpack on. Mm -hmm. But uh, as soon as I heard her talk, you know, definitely Obviously. more country than San Diego. <laughs> <laughs> well, and, you know, like, I feel like you... Even when you can't talk, you gravitate towards some people. Mm -hmm. And even in casting, you know, we would sit next to each other. Obviously, we would try not to look at each other. But, I mean, of course, I thought he was good looking. <laughs> well, yeah, definitely. <laughs> and then, luckily, he has a good personality as well. <laughs> so, you ended up on the same cast. Yeah. Um, at what point did you know this was, um, this, you were falling in love? Um, very early on. It was really crazy, just the connection from day one. Yeah. Um, it's, I mean, it's 24 hours a day that you're spending with each other, mm -hmm. so normal dating, it's just, you know, Speed accelerated. Speed dating. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> and not only that, but you're, you know, you're fishing together, you're cooking together, you're doing all these crazy things, just surviving and mm -hmm. freezing all night long, shivering together. <laughs> <laughs> and you, you become, you know, really close really fast, and I would say by by day three, I knew I was in trouble. Uh oh. Yeah. <laughs> you know, sometimes uh, people get into what they call a showmance. Mm -hmm. You know, you have a relationship on a show to get you farther in the game. Mm -hmm. um, did anybody uh, was anybody concerned about you all uh, being together? You know, that's one thing that was great about like our tribe mates actually said. Dawn actually took taking the words out of her mouth. She's like, you know, I don't feel like I have to worry because like it's genuine. It's mm -hmm. not. You know, he's using you, you, you're using him. It's not gameplay. It is genuine yeah. feelings. I was playing the game. She didn't know that. Yeah, yeah. He's well, totally using it. <laughs> really, that setting, really. I had a good feeling about him. Like, just going in, day one, I trusted <clears throat> Keith 100%, which is crazy, because I'm not a very trusting person. But he just, I don't know. Like, I knew I was safe with him. Mm -hmm. Yeah, they didn't show it, but actually, I went to Ozzy, and I said, hey, I trust mm -hmm. Whitney. I haven't actually spoken to Whitney, but I don't know why I trust her. You should go talk to her and get her in, in an alliance so, yeah. for the three of us. So he went and talked to her and said, hey, Keith trusts you. Um, I was like, Keith hasn't talked to me. Yeah. <laughs> Had to say no. Yeah. Okay, well, let's talk about yeah. the game because, I mean, what we say on TV, you know, it looks terribly hard, but it's yeah. so much harder. Yeah, it really is. I don't think, you know, I'm a big fan of Survivor, and I've watched it almost every season. And you sit on your couch and like, oh, that's, that's really easy. That looks easy. I can do that. It's so much harder than you could ever imagine. Those yeah. challenges are really difficult. Keith, what was the hardest part for you? Um, probably the hardest part is the night, because everyone doesn't realize it's 12 hours a day and 12 hours of night. So you're, you're freezing cold. Although it's a tropical island, it's very nice during the day, it's very cold at night. You're sleeping on bamboo, you don't get much sleep. And usually I would wake up about every two hours just to tend to the fire mm. to make sure we had the fire still going so we wouldn't have to start it again. It was, I mean, it, it was exhausting, and you don't have food, and it, it's just, it tests everything you have mentally and physically. You know, I, I always love to ask folks who've been on Survivor, everybody thinks, oh, that's scripted. They're just writing all this out ahead of time. You say absolutely not. Absolutely not. It is for real. You know, everything about Survivor, I have so much more respect for that show now, actually being part of it, which is nice to say, because I realize that it's it's for real. You yeah. are starving. They're not going to feed you. Like, it's, <laughs> yeah, it's real. I wish they fed us. <laughs> I mean, I they were like sneaking in snicker bars yeah. and everything in between takes, but it's, it's just not the case. They just basically observe life. Mm -hmm. Um, and quickly before we go, I want to be sure we can talk about your yeah. careers. Of course, you're continuing your country mm -hmm. music career. I am, yeah. Mm -hmm. I've uh, been in Nashville for a long time now. Uh, trying to put together an EP right now to get out to the public in the next couple of months. And then Keith it has moved to Nashville. Yeah, yeah. living in Nashville now. <laughs> I'm from San Diego. He's so, never uh, even been to the South before. Oh, wow. No. 
<laughs> it's supposed to be a big shock, but I grew up in Minnesota, so it's not too different. Yeah, he's yeah. kind of a country boy at heart. So. Yeah. And he's a, a keeper, bit. huh? Oh, definitely. <laughs> yeah. Well, we're happy. Thanks for that. <laughs> Thank you all so much for being with us today. Thank you for having us. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you, very much. you can find out more about Whitney's music on her website, WhitneyDuncan.com. Also, don't miss the new season of Survivor. It premieres tomorrow night at 7, right here on News Channel 5. Well, it's time now for a house call from our